Okay, so the two most common questions I get about making pincushions are number one, how do you close the bottom? And number two, how do you get the filling so tight? So I'm going to walk you through those two things. Now this is the big Dolores pincushion, the pumpkin here, uh, but they will all close the same way. So the procedure is the same. And I've already prepared this to um, be stuffed by turning this edge under about an eighth of an inch and I've based it all the way around it with a double thread. So now I'm ready to fill it. So the first issue is an underfilled pincushion. So I'm going to understuff this one. And you'll know that you don't have enough filling in here because when you go to pull this, it's just going to cinch up real easy like that. And that means you just don't have enough filling in there. So if that happens to you, you can just open this back up. And add a few more shells. The second problem, which is the more common problem, is that you put too many shells in here. So it's overstuffed. So let me see if I can't just pack this thing full. And I think this is happening because you want a really nice full pin cushion. So you're putting in a, a lot of shells. And that's where things just don't work out. So you can see this has a ton of shells in it and when I go to close this it just doesn't close. So when I'm stuffing a pincushion I usually overfill mine just like this and then I turn it over and ream some of the shells out and pull that thread uh, and if it still doesn't close ream out a little more and I keep doing that until that opening closes just a little more And then once you're closed, you're just going to take a couple of stitches here to keep it closed. And one of my threads broke, which is not a good situation. So I'm going to just get rid of it. And then you just three or four stitches are really all you need here to keep that thing securely shut and then you're just gonna tie it off I can see I have a little gap here so I'm gonna close that off all right put a little knot in that and you're good to go so that's step one step two is how do you get it so full? So hopefully you can hear that there's a lot of squish still left in this. I can push down in the middle of this. So I've got a lot of slack in here. So first of all, I just pinch it between my two fingers and then I turn it around and around until I get myself a shape that I like. So doll maker's needle, six strands of embroidery floss or pearl cotton if you prefer. You're going to start in the bottom, come up through the center, and then you're going to wrap down that seam line. Come back up to the top. And now you're going to give that a little tug. You don't want to pull it really hard, just pull it till you feel a little resistance. And you're going to do that now over every seam line. And that little bit will add up and give you the firmness that you need to have a nice full pin cushion. Okay, last one, and now you're going to end this part with your needle here at the top. And now you have a nice firm pincushion here that you don't hear any squishing anymore. This divot's been locked into place, 
And now you're ready to add your embellishment.